Thank you very much, Johnny. Matt, you've gotten a little bit of playing time. You're in there today. Tell me what's been feeling good for you offensively. It looks like your swing is kind of locked in right now. I know consistent playing time helps with that, but what's kind of allowed you to get into a little bit of a groove here recently? Yeah, for sure. Um, just getting to play a little bit and um, you know, ever since coming back, getting called back up from Syracuse, my swing's been feeling great. Made a uh, couple swing changes. Uh, got a little bit of a leg kick now and uh, I think it's, it's helped me out a lot just to um, get my swing where it needs to be and, and to have quality at bats, just trying to go up there and you know, I've got a bats every time out, and it's whether it's off the bench pinch hitting or, uh, you know, getting that start. So uh, just have quality at bats and, and try to do what I can. We've talked about the leg kick a little bit. Is that something you've played with in the past? And what about the leg kick kind of allows you to get that timing and, and generate a little more power for you? Yeah, I think back in uh, 2012, I had a little bit of a leg kick, and but I was striking out a lot. I think now I've I've kind of uh, adjusted to where I, I'm seeing the ball well and, and also getting that power back a little bit. So um, I think if I can keep that going, I'll, I'll be playing well and I'm um, looking forward to it. How much can this last few weeks of the season maybe carry some momentum? I know it's a long way ahead, but into spring training next year, uh, just that you're able to put up some results here at the big league level after some time down in the minors. Just trying to show them that I, um, you know, I can play here. and uh, I think I've, I've proven that. and. When I get the chance to go out there and play, I, I think I, I can help help the team win and contribute, and uh, that's what I'm going to try to do the next week. Try to you know show them that I can do that and, and be ready for next year. You've gotten some uh, time pinch hitting as well, and you've had pretty good success in those opportunities. What is it about pinch hitting that makes it so difficult? Obviously, just not knowing when uh, you'll get the opportunity. But what specifically in that one at bat makes it tricky, and how have you been able to kind of piece together some uh, some good at bats there? I think it's just a combination of uh, being relaxed and also aggressive. Coming off the bench, you want to, um, you know, it's a lot of times in a, in a situation late in the game, you got guys throwing hard, so you want to, you know, be relaxed, but you also want to be aggressive. And um, you know, you get a fastball early in the count and cut it loose. And I think that's what's helped me out a lot, just coming in there, knowing what the guys have, and and uh, taking good swings on them. Matt, good to see you. Get some PT, and uh, we're looking forward to the last week with you. Thank you, Johnny. Send it back to you.